Hello guys, so I want to do a review today of um, one of my favourite jackets, the Crag Hoppers. I think you pronounce this Bishorn, B-I-S-H-O-R-N. And uh, it's a park style and it's, um, they term it as like uh, Arctic style type yeah. of jacket. Now, the money, and I'll talk to, talk to you the price I paid for this particular one, but this is, this is my favourite jacket. In terms of the, the style, as I said, it's a parka jacket. It's more, when I was looking at these, the higher end of the market, you can see the sort of the North Face jackets and they start at about 350, 400, yeah. and also around the same price as uh, the Crag Hoppers, you've got Jack Wolfskins. Now, when I was uh, looking at these in store, when we could all go out and go in store, retail stores, I actually tried on three of the jackets. The North Face in particular was a very heavy jacket and of course the price point was just slightly more than I wanted to pay. And this came in in store at the time for 200 pounds. Now I was lucky enough to get this in the sale yeah, this time last year for 80 pounds. So if you look online, crack offers do discount. Now I would say this is definitely worth 80 pounds. And I'll tell you about some of my experiences of this jacket over the last 12 months in the rain and in some uh, particular harsh weather conditions. Um, I wouldn't pay full price for it, I certainly wouldn't pay £200, but when I compared it in store against the Jack Wolfskin Parker, which was £200, about £180, £200, uh, I tried it on and it was a lot lighter than this, so I didn't actually look at the, the branding on this, I just put it on and I tried it on and it felt about right and the price point was right. So, you know, I've certainly not been disappointed with this coat. Now, this time last year when we could all go out and about. I went to uh, Southern Ireland and one did the uh, part of the Wild Atlantic Way and had a great uh, version of this on and I can honestly say the waterproof on this is immense. It uses um, something called Aqua Dry and as you can see it's starting to rain now but we were out in some really full-on conditions. You can just see this the brand in here this Aqua Dry. So you can see this uh, this is the material they use. I think it's like a, a general crack hoppers brand. It's called Aqua Dry. Their uh, waterproof technology system that they use. Now I was out in, I said, on the White Atlantic Way uh, with a friend of mine. We were doing some uh, part of the White Atlantic Way and we just, it absolutely bucketed down there. There was a storm that come in and we went out to a harbour. I'll try and put some film in there if I can find it. But I was literally, absolutely, the, the rain was coming down, the wind was into me. The, the rain was coming down, the wind was into me. And we walked, I was out and about in the weather for about an hour, and then we went, we finally found a pub. But I can honestly say this thing kept me dry, and this stuff actually works. I think I've never tried Ventile, it's, I think it's called Ventile Cotton Mix, where it sort of swells up. It's the, actually, when it gets wet, there's fibers knit together, but it kind of works, I think, similar to that. And I, it's certainly, I can honestly say, this waterproofness on this particular coat, this mod, this really tough so if you you know if it's your bush craft and you can hear it it's really robust and it works really well and it does keep you um really waterproof and dry in those types of conditions now i want to talk to you about the pockets i love my pockets on my coats it's the difference between loving a coat and not loving a coat and on this particular coat there's 15 different types of pockets the crack offers do a number of colors they do gray black uh this really bright aster red they call it's more of an orange and uh, they also do a green uh, woodland green so if you're into your bush crafting or your i mean this this would probably melt this would probably you wouldn't need one if it's near the fire too much but certainly going through undergrowth it would be a great uh, coat to get in the woods with it keep you warm sitting around the campfire and um just basically wouldn't rip at all because it's, it's so tough now as i said there's um 15 pockets so if you're into your sort of wildlife watching obviously you wouldn't do it in this color you'd wear the green one um but you know if you want to be a bit more stealth it's a pretty quiet coat but it says in terms of photography and you know pockets like i said it's got 15 pockets you've got two bellows pockets here and on the side in here you can just see this is this is a bit of a hand warmer material on that side that's really really nice against your hands love that all the zips you can see these on the zips you can see these toggles here which are great if you've got gloves on but they're all white ykk zips which is just a sign of quality. The studs and the buttons on here, just great. Really, really good and they work really well. The zip underneath and uh, the hood, what a fantastic hood. Look at that for a hood. Now this fake fur uh, attachment, this just come off. You can see here's a zip and you can zip it off if that's not your thing. And I think if I bought the green version, you know, I'd probably take this off because, you know, you wouldn't want to go in the woods with this really, I don't think so. Um, but 
um, just showing you inside um, some of the other pockets of the 15. You've got them at the side here. Absolutely there, put your maps in. There's a zip here, which goes behind that again. And this here where you can put your phone, your mobile phone or your passport, I think they call it. Uh, again, same on the other side. And again, here, great pocket there. So this thing is no end of pockets. I said there's 15 in total. You've got pockets here to put your hands in here. And then there's two here, so you can put something in there, like a small knife or a pen or whatever you want. And again, there, there's some, some space there. So all in all, and um, a really great coat. I absolutely love this coat. Now at the moment in the January sales, they'll discount these to about 80 pounds. You can, I did see them online just after Christmas for about 50. So, uh, but they were only in certain sizes as you, as you uh, would expect now. I'm about 5'8", uh, around, I guess. I'm, I don't really weigh myself that much, but I'm around the 12 stone, I think. That'll kind of give you an idea of my build. This is the small, this isn't the medium. So again, buying things online, just to give you an idea, this is a, a small version. So this kind of, this fits me really well. The arms are well, you know, well, well enough, the right size. One uh, more thing, I'll just zip it up, as we, because the rain's coming in here. And, um, you know, so you can see there the zip, really good quality, Wake up, YKK zips, and um, there you go, right to the top. And I think, you, you get, as with a lot of these jackets, you can, so if you're sitting down the campfire, you can release it here, so that gives you a bit of room. Also, and this storm flap, I think you'd probably call it, wind flap, stops the wind coming. So you're really insulated from the elements. And then finally, if you want to just cinch it in around the waist, you've got these cinch cords here. So you can just, as you can see, you can see, cinch that side, bring that in. And the brand in here, which I kind of like, uh, Expedition Series Parker, um, Optimum Warmth, uh, Crag Hoppers, Discover Your World. So I think this is, they would, they describe it as an Arctic style jacket. You probably wouldn't want to go to the South Pole on this, I would imagine. But for our conditions we have here in the UK and around Europe, definitely say this would do the job and you know it, it, I've worn it in probably to about minus five in this winter and it's kept me warm it really is a great jacket I just love the color it's really vibrant and it's just uh, a bit different from some of the usual colors that I wear always for, for bushcrafting but uh, like I said I love this coat that much maybe think there's an alternative to North Face or Jack Wolfskin I can vouch for I can pair those this like I say, the North Face is right up there. We know that it's not going to be comparable with that in terms of warmth and the down in it. Um, but in terms of some of those sort of cheaper brands, and you can get this on discount for around £100, I would definitely recommend it. So great job, Crack Offers. Really love it. So, and uh, I'd recommend it to anyone. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. See you soon.